since the first recorded incidence of spinal cord injury 5,000 years ago, we've made no progress in curing spinal cord injury. What AST OPC1 does is it's one specific type of cell. It's called an oligodendrocyte. What these cells do is they make the coating called myelin, which surrounds nerves. The idea of the study is that because the spinal cord is not severed, it's crushed, there are going to be nerves that can function, but they're not functioning properly because they have lost this coating and our nerves don't work without this coating. So what these cells are doing is putting that coating back on those nerves and allowing them to function properly. The stem cells that we put in don't have to grow a long, long distance. They only have to grow one to two centimeters and they can have a major functional effect on the quality of life of these individuals. With a very tiny needle, we inject a very small amount of fluid we can do 10 million cells in 50 microliters of fluid. So it's just a drop. And then we inject that right around the area of the injury. Well, first of all, it is very, very exciting. Um, I personally have been involved in spinal cord injury research, transplantation for 20 years. For the first time ever, we are seeing real positive results. We are very early in this research, but we think we're seeing these changes. You know, physicians like to help patients. That's why we do this. To be able to help someone that was never able to be helped before